In this lesson, we are going to learn about the standard normal distribution, a particular and a special normal distribution. Question, how many normal distributions are there? There are an infinite number of normal distributions. A normal distribution is determined by its mean mu and by its standard deviation sigma. Once you know mu and sigma, you are talking about a particular normal distribution, but there are an infinite number of normal distributions. Any normal distribution can be standardized so that probability calculations can be done from one standard normal table. Let's see how that's done. Here we have a normal mu sigma distribution. We know that the mean or the center of that distribution is mu. One standard deviation above the mean is mu plus sigma. We have mu plus two times sigma and mu plus three times sigma. Going below the mean, we have mu minus sigma. We have mu minus two times sigma and we have mu minus three times sigma. What happens if we compute the z-score for each of these values, mu, mu plus sigma, mu plus two sigma, and mu plus three sigma? Remember, the formula for a z-score, or standardizing, is the data value minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. When we standardize mu, our data value is mu, we subtract the mean of sigma of mu and we divide by the standard deviation sigma and we see that our standardized or z-score value for the center of our distribution is zero. What happens when we standardize or get the z-score for mu plus sigma? Our data value is mu plus sigma, we subtract the mean of mu and we divide by the standard deviation sigma we end up with sigma over sigma, which is one. And our z-score for mu plus sigma is just one. Computing the z-score for mu plus two sigma and mu plus three sigma, we see that their z-scores are two and three respectively. We could do the same thing for mu minus sigma and compute the z-score, and we will see that that's minus one the z-score for mu minus two sigma is minus two, and the z-score for mu minus three sigma is minus three. By standardizing our normal mu sigma distribution, we have z, a new random variable z, is equal to our normal mu sigma. We subtract sigma and divide by, subtract mu and divide by sigma gives us a normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation of one. So we can convert any normal distribution into the standard normal distribution, a normal zero one distribution, just by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation sigma. Therefore, when we do probability calculations for a normal distribution, we only need one normal distribution as opposed to an infinite number of tables. We can convert every normal distribution to the standard normal distribution, then use a standard normal table to answer any probability questions that we want to ask. Here is a standard normal distribution table. This table is this for the standard normal the normal zero one distribution. And this table is used to calculate probabilities for the standard normal curve.